Hello everyone, it's Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV and I'm back with another top five video. This week, West Ham head to Turf Moor to play Burnley after the international break. The Premier League is now back. So my top five this week is going to be top five wins at Turf Moor. Uh, so let's start off. Number five, um, going to go all the way back to the 29th of August 1959. It was Burnley 1, West Ham 3. It was a Division 1 clash. The attendance that day was 26,783. The scorers for West Ham that day was Andy Smiley, Mike Grice and Phil Woosman. Um, if you don't know who Phil Woosman is, go back to my last top five video uh, when I've done my top five Welsh internationals. He was my number five and there was a good little story behind him. Um, it was our first win at Turf Moor in 17 attempts. Uh, 36 years after our first ever game now, on the 17th of November 1923, where we lost 5-1. So that was a long time to go from the first game to this game, 17 games, to get our first win now. So that's my number five. Now I'm going to move on to number four. Uh, it was the 27th of January 1968. It was an FA Cup third round tie. Once again, it was Burnley 1, West Ham 3. Um... The scorers that day was Martin Peters with two and Brian Deer also on the score sheet. That, this was our first ever FA Cup uh, game at Turf Moor. First time we've ever played them. And it is the only FA Cup game that we've ever played at Turf Moor. Um, so look, the team that day also included West Ham legends Bobby Moore, Billy Bonds, Frank Lampard Sr., Trevor Brookin and of course Sir Jeff Hurst. Um, so yeah, like I said... First ever FA Cup game now, and we've got a victory. Um, and yeah, another 3-1 victory. So now I'm going to move on to my number three. Uh, this goes back to the 28th of September, 1974. It was a Division One clash. It was Burnley 3, West Ham 5. Uh, the attendance that day was 17,613. The scorers for West Ham that day, um, Billy Bonds... Trevor Brookin, Billy Jennings, Keith Robson with two goals. Uh, this one is my number three because this was our biggest ever victory at Turf Moor. And still to this day, it's still our biggest victory. Um, once again, some legends in that team. Uh, Billy Bonds and Sir Trevor Brookin, just two of them. But yeah, look, that's my number three. So moving on now to number two. Going to go back to the 5th of April, 2005. It was in the championship. It was Burnley nil, West Ham 1. The attendance that day was 12,209. And the scorer for West Ham that day was Teddy Sheringham. 83rd minute winner. Um, you're probably thinking 1-0 win while was in Portland. Well, this win actually kept us around the playoffs at that time. Uh, and as you know, that season, we got into the playoffs. We beat Ipswich over two-legged semi-final and then we went off to went on to play Preston at the Millennium Stadium where we all know we won 1-0 Bobby Zamora with a winner um, and yeah I mean that that obviously put us back up into the Premiership so that win against Burnley at that time of the season around April um, I think that put us seventh in the table at that time and as, as I said we went on to get into the playoffs and we actually won it so that's why that one was at my number two um, now I'm going to move on to my number one. Uh, we go back to the 18th of October 2014. It was a Premier League tie. It was Burnley 1, West Ham 3. Another 3-1 win. Uh, the attendance that day was 18,936. The scorers for West Ham that day was Diafra Sacco, Enna Valencia and Colton Cole. This win put us up to fourth in the table. It was our first ever Premier League win at Turf Moor. The uh, Afro Saka's goal that day was his fifth successive goal in Premier League games. The only other player to do that was fans' favourite, Colton Cole. Uh, Mark Noble also made his 200th Premier League appearance that day. Um, like I said, our Premier League record at Turf Moor uh, is quite decent. Played three, won two, lost one, draw none. Um, but overall... Our record at Turf Moor, we've played 42 games in all competitions. We've got 9 wins, 10 draws and 23 losses. So not a great record overall at Turf Moor. But in the Premier League, 
like I said, played three, one, two, lost one. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, that's my top five this week. Um, give me your comments below um, on any 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 of the games that I've mentioned. Uh, any memories there for the older fans that remember the first three that I spoke about? Um, the later two that I remember more, obviously 2005 in the championship, and of course uh, back in 2014 under Big Sam. Um, look, we go up to Turf Moor this weekend on the back of a 1 0 home victory against Swansea, where Diafra Sacco scored a winner in the 90th minute. Wasn't a great performance, but we got the job done. But we're playing an informed Burn Burnley side as well. Uh, that come off the back of a great 1-0 victory at Goodison Park. Uh, I mean, Hendricks scored the winner, uh, and for me, it was one of the goals of the season. 24 passes, the way they knocked it about. And Burnley are going to be a tough team. So look, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough, like I said, tough, tough game. Uh, let's hope that the players turn up. We're looking for our first uh, Premier League victory away from home this season. We've had a tough run, but look, I'm confident. I'm confident we can get it. Back-to-back -back wins. Um, and look, Burnley is currently 6th in the table on 12 points. We are 15th on 7 points. So if we win, we'll be on 10 points, 2 points behind Burnley. So it won't look as bad as, as a lot of fans think it is at the moment. Um, but look, like always, leave your comments below. Give us your predictions for the game. Um, Scott and Nick, Nicky are going up to um, Burnley on Saturday so don't forget, go and see them after the game get yourself on the camera with a fan cam hopefully we'll be talking about a win uh, also look out for Scott's preview where he'll talk more about the game uh, this weekend and of course, as always if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, if you're a loyal viewer and you've been with us for a long time, thanks for sticking with us we've got so much more content coming up over this week but look, I'll leave that there. That's my top five this week. I'm Ryan Archer at West Ham Fan TV. Come on, you irons.